impresses me the most is... And one more. Phew. This could be slippery now, huh? He's world champion several times and also Olympic medalist. And when he retired, he started his team. Now, we're hitting the long bastard uphill. Starts out steep in the grass. I mean, the team is the world's leading team. It's all eyes on the team. It was a lot of pressure to come in there and... and... In a team with the world's fastest guys, it's so Thomas is a great training partner for me. He can teach me how to do a perfect race. Good line, Jenny. That was fast, Jenny. She needs to build up confidence, and I also have to tell her, hey, Jenny, this was a super line. This was uh, as fast as uh, you can. When it comes down to line choices, I feel it's maybe one of the few areas where I can still give her some advice. My eyes there, I wouldn't even hear you coming here. Yeah, <laughs> good demonstration. I know my lines and uh, I had a great feeling on the course. Makes me feel comfortable and, and I can stay relaxed. Probably I'll be more nervous tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in a good mood in my life and I know what I want to do and I love I love this I love mountain biking this is this is my life that she can be up there with the with the very best uh, women in this world Jenny Rizved last week things couldn't have gone much better for her now the new world champion uh, women under 23 uh, she was dominating that race uh, she became a second in Alpsal as well so definitely one of the women to watch out for today's race and I remember, of course, Rizved's wild ride in the under-23 at the World Championships in the World Cup Series. She mixes it and goes in with the elite class riders. It's possible becoming world champion or world cup champion. It's a matter of time. She develops the way she did the last uh, couple of years. One of the still one of the big favourites today, Jenny Rizved. She'll have a second row start along with Gunnery to Dallas. Big names. A little further back. I think that just says how deep the talent is in women's cross country, Bert. Last week, I become world champion in under 23, and today I compete against the world champion in elite. And, uh, I am an underdog and I don't really see myself up there competing against the world's best. That's why I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that I managed to win. Also to kind of soak up all this uh, stuff that's going on. Last year I won every every U23 World Cup race, but I knew that it's not the real thing. From now on I I believe a little bit more in myself now. Ever elite World Cup win and yeah, this is for sure the biggest thing so far in my career.